Hey folks, hope all is well on your end of the world. Um, yeah, it's again, it's been a little while and I've been itching, itching so much to start making some more videos again. Um, yeah, it's it's been a pretty crazy few weeks. My work has just been really, really busy the last three weeks in the lead up to Christmas. Um, being a cheesemaker, everything sort of comes a few weeks early. Um, that's just the way the cheese making process is. So we're almost up to scratch with what we need to do for sort of the Christmas holiday period. So it'll start winding down in another couple of weeks and start maybe getting a day off here and there each week, um, which would be awesome. I can really start pumping some videos again, out again. Um, it's just something I've really been missing the last few months, um, sort of putting out a video every three weeks or something like that, once a month, if I'm lucky. But um, yeah, I'm really, really eager to get back into it and start making some videos again and doing some reviews and fun stuff like that. And um, yeah, I've really missed, really missed being able to do this. And it's been, yeah, it's just been a busy time, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all money. Um, we need, we need a lot of money. We're getting over to the US next year, so that's exciting. And all the, all the effort we're putting in to save that money is going to be so worth it. So um, anyway, I just want to do a bit of a haul video I guess a bit of a catch-up and stuff like that because yeah it's been a little while and I mean if you follow me on Instagram you've probably just seen bits and pieces I picked up as I go because I tend to I tend to instantly share everything on Instagram um, so if you follow me there that's cool uh, if if not even you've got Instagram go and jump on there I'm easy to find so um, yeah I just want like I said I just want to do a bit of a video and catch up and share a few things that I've gotten recently. I had my 29th birthday at the start of the month, being November. Um, that was my 29th. Um, and quite frankly, that can be the last one. I'm not ready for any more birthdays. I don't want to be older than this. This is, this is cool. I'm, I'm quite content with 29. Um, 30 is a little bit scary. It's all downhill from there, but uh, it's all downhill from when you turn about 18, I think. So anyway, <laughs> enough, enough negativity. No, it's all good. No, I had a great time. Great fam, great get together with family, and um, got some cool stuff. So, anyway, I just want to share with you a few things that I picked up over the last, you know, the last month or so. Um, so, I picked this up from there's a chain of stores here called Big W. They're just, you know, like your WalMarts, your Targets, sort of like that. It's it's just another one of those sort of stores. Big multi. There's they're everywhere basically. Picked up this uh, BB-8 cookie jar. Now this is about, oh, I can't remember how much it was. It was about 20 bucks, 15 or $20. I can't remember exactly. Um, I haven't kept any cookies in it. T cookies tend not to last very long in my house. That is entirely my fault. Um, they tend not to make it too far out between the packet and my mouth, so. <laughs> Which is a problem, but it's, it's okay, it's cool. Um, so when we have like biscuits and cookies and stuff in the house, they don't tend not to last very long, but that's okay. Um, I had to pick it up. It's, it is damn awesome. They had a Kylo Ren head as well, which, which was cool, but gotta go BB-8. Gotta go BB-8. He is damn cool. And, uh, he just sits in our kitchen. He just chills out. We got some, I don't know what's in there actually. Spare keys and crap like that. Um... Finally found a few more new uh, Hot Wheels cars, the Star Wars Hot Wheels cars, and unfortunately they're just not big sellers here. Unfortunately, they're just um, they're a reasonable price when they're on special, but when they're uh, singularly low, they're like nine or ten dollars in some places. So I tend to just hold out for sales and um, being able to pick up a couple of new ones. And yeah, they because they don't sell, we don't get all the waves that come out and. Um, so there's a few that I've missed around the time, over the time, and um, yeah, the ones that they bring in, they bring them in too many, and they just don't move. So I'm happy with the ones I've been able to get. Um, I've got the Princess Leia car, which is nice. This was this originally came in a double pack, so I'm glad they single single packed that one. They tend to do that; they drop them in a double pack. But um, knowing that they put them all on single releases, it means I can um, I can just wait. And get them then, as opposed to buying a double pack and having doubles of a car. So, I got the Jawa. This is a cool little car. I like this one. Oh, little eyes. <laughs> um, I also got the Flame Trooper, but I don't have it on my in my hand. 
um, the First Order Flame Trooper. I found the Inquisitor from Rebels. That's a pretty cool car. I like it. He looks cool. And I found the first Rogue One car, which is Jin. That looks pretty cool. I like it. So yeah, haven't really had a lot of luck. I'm looking, just keeping an eye on eBay for the cars that I have missed. There's there's heaps coming, and there's always there's there's heaps that I've missed. So I've got a little bit of a list going, and uh, I've got a ch check off list, so I know exactly what I need and when I'm going to get it and stuff. So that's cool. Um, I sent my mum on a mission one day. I had to work early in the morning. Um, this is the day that the hover tank pilot was finally released to Toys R Us here in Australia. We didn't get it on Force Friday. Um, so that was pushed back about a month for some reason. Um, don't know why. Don't know why. But they had an official release date for it in the catalogue. So, um, Mum luckily had the day off. So I asked her if she could go on a little mission for me. And she picked up the hover tank pilot. Now, I'd love to review this figure because this is a sick figure. Um, the helmet's amazing. The design, the the paintwork on this thing, um, just all the just the really micro details are fantastic. I love it. I really do. Um, unfortunately, it's ten dollars more than every other figure. My all fit normal figures are thirty five bucks. This was forty five, but. Mum included it in my birthday gift, so I didn't end up having to pay for it. <laughs> That's cool, but 45 bucks is a bit steep. I think Toys R Us were just milking that, and that was... Yeah, it's a bit shit, so... But it's cool, I got it, I'm happy. And if they ever drop in price, and they... You know, they're going to hang around at that price. People aren't going to buy that, pay for that. So, if they ever drop in price, I may get a second one. But I'm happy with one for now, so that's cool. Um... Also picked up Star Wars Rebel Season 2 on Blu-ray. This finally came out here in Australia. Uh, first week of November, so glad to finally grab that. Um, that was an awesome season. I'm looking forward to watching it again. And uh, 3D Blu-ray, which is awesome. I haven't sat down and watched the commentary yet. Um, I did watch the special features and stuff. There's not a lot different to the original release. A um, few extra bits and pieces, but you know, had to get it anyway. So that was cool. Um, did a little eBay purchase. I've got some more, more crap on the way on eBay too. Some more figures that, like exclusives that aren't getting released here in Australia that are all over America, like the Gin, um, Kmart exclusive and yeah, a few others. But I picked up C-3PO, the Walgreens exclusive, which is again, it's, we've had exclusives released down here. Um... In different stores to what America does but this time around we're not getting any so I had no reason no other choice but to grab it on eBay so I'm glad I did this is a really nice figure so, um yeah I'm stoked I can't wait to get the Force Awakens one as well he'll look great up on the shelf a um, couple of books I've got Asuka this is a great story. I um, actually, I didn't actually read the book. I listened to the audio book, and that was that was awesome. Like I've got a half an hour drive to to work and half an hour drive home, so um, I can get an hour of audio books in a day, which is which is awesome. That was that was only like it was like seven or eight hours, which isn't de which is pretty pretty decent. I think it was about that much. Um, that was a cool story. I really liked it. And um, most recent one is uh, Catalyst. I'm getting through this slowly but surely. Um, it's good. It's holding my interest. Um, I'm just watching TV like uh, Westworld, and I'm what playing now. I'm playing Pokemon Moon, so <laughs> um, that's sort of taking up a lot of my time. But I'm trying to get a chapter in a day, so I'll get through it before the movie comes out. Only two or three weeks left, so. But uh, last but not least, aside for some Lego, which I'll drop a little clip in afterwards. Um, this is a gift for my girlfriend and. I was blown away. She got me the Force Awakens soundtrack on vinyl. Um, this is the one with the 3D holographic uh, playing surfaces. So when you play it, you've got the uh, spinning TIE Fighter on one disc and the other disc has a spinning Millennium Falcon. And um, we didn't have a record player, so I had to go and buy a record player. Um, but this thing just, this thing blows my mind. Um, 
some seriously amazing artwork. I don't know if you can see that. See the light reflecting off the lasers. But yeah, definitely a prized piece of collectible there. So um, sorry, that wasn't last but not least. Uh, I just had Supernova the weekend gone. Supernova Pop Culture Expo, which is a little comic con. Um, goes for a w one weekend every year. Um, they do four cities. Um, and got to meet a couple of awesome people. Got to firstly, got to meet uh, Greg Grunberg, Snap Wexley from The Force Awakens. Uh, he was an awesome dude. He was really nice. Um, there wasn't many people in his line, so he was able to have a chat for a couple of minutes, um, which was cool. So he signed that Jesse Fly Low and then uh, Snap down the bottom. But he was uh, saying, he was telling us a little story about how J.J. Abrams made him a mug. Because um, uh, he was in Star Trek, and then he went on to Star Wars, and uh, he made him a mug saying Trek Before Wars, which is just cool, because he's been in both movies. So, um, Yeah, Greg was a really good guy. We went and saw his panel as well, and that was, that was a lot of fun. He was just an awesome dude. And then I got to meet Steve Bloom from Rebels, does the voice of Zeb. And he was another awesome dude. Um... My girlfriend was wearing a Who Universe dress and uh, he spotted it immediately and complimented her on it and um, yeah, sort of saying how Ashley Eckstein's a really nice girl and all, all that stuff. And then when we told him we were heading over to the US next year to go to Celebration, he was just, he was super surprised and like he thought that was the coolest thing that we were actually traveling all the way from Australia to go over to Solar Celebration and he was saying he hopes to get an invite too, so... Yeah, just can't wait. We're like five months away from Salva Celebration. I cannot wait. <laughs> it's, I, I can because we haven't got enough money yet. But yeah, it's going to be freaking awesome. Um, anyway, guys, I want to share a bit of Lego with you that I got for my birthday. I got all the Rogue One sets. Oh, sort of around my birthday and I got a couple for my birthday. Um, and I bought a couple other sets for myself. So stay tuned. I'm going to put a little clip on the end of this. So um, yeah, hope everyone has been well. Um, expect to see some more videos popping up. I hope I can get some videos up, um, whether they're just random reviews or discussions and stuff. Like, um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I hope you've all been well, like I said. And, uh, yeah, drop a comment, say hello. I hope, uh, let me know how you're doing. All right, cool, guys. Let's check out some Lego. All right, as I was saying, here is my Lego setup as it stands. It's got some posters stuck behind it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty chock-a-block at the moment, but uh, the sets I've bought, I bought, I sort of bought this with my allowance, I bought the U-Wing and the hover tank and the ATST, which which is awesome set. Some of these um, minifigures are just, let's see if I can focus, oh, check it out, it's so cool. Um, yeah, big fan of some of these minifigures, especially the full Rogue One squad. And some Rebels. Got the TIE Strucker. And my parents got me Chronic Shuttle. Which again, let's look at these Death Troopers if we can get them in the light. Such an awesome minifigure. How cool is it? Krennic's wicked too. But um, yeah, I think Krennic Shuttle is probably one of my favourite ships of all time in Star Wars at the moment. Um, and that was a great fun build. It looks cool next to the Artidarium as well. But uh, with my money, I bought a couple of uh, other sets. Um, I've really enjoyed the Freemaker Adventures TV series, so I decided to buy the uh, Star Scavenger and the Eclipse Fighter. Again, a few more cool minifigures. We've got Nare, Dengar, Cordy, Rowan, and Xander, and Roger, the Freemakers, and the Star Scavenger. So, yeah, pretty happy. Um, again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.